Hello guys, I welcome all of you to today's farmcast. And today again I'll be discussing five different drugs of choice, as well as one common concern that relates to how to deal with controversies. So let's begin, guys. Today's podcast, and the first uh, disorder is anaerobes. So how do we treat anaerobes? So there is no single drug of choice. Uh, the drug of choice actually depends upon the location of infection. Is it supra diaphragmatic or infra diaphragmatic? The reason being, the cause of supra diaphragmatic infections, the causative organisms are mostly from the oral cavity, like prevotella, and infra diaphragmatic infection, the cause is mostly from the colon, right? That is bacteroids. So for supra diaphragmatic infections, guys, clindamycin is more effective. So clindamycin is drug of choice. Whereas for infra diaphragmatic caused by bacteroids, metronidazole is more effective. So either can be used. I mean, I can also use metro in supra and clinda in infra. But the preferred drug is clinda and metro. For supra, clinda. For infra, metro. That is all you need to remember. Now moving on to the second disorder for today, it is anal cancer. So anal cancer, guys. If they ask you what is the drug of choice, think anal cancer. What is the drug of choice? So guys, anal cancer. The drug of choice is five fluorouracil. To make a regimen, so intravenous five fluorouracil. To make a regimen, I combine a topical anti-cancer drug. Think which could be that topical anti-cancer drug. A uh, clue is, it is an anti-tumor antibiotic, right? It starts with alphabet M. Does it ring a bell? Which drug am I talking about here? It is mitomycin C, guys. So treatment of choice for anal cancer is five fluorouracil intravenous plus topical mitomycin C. And if they ask you single drug of choice, obviously your answer would be five fluorouracil. So let me tell you guys how to remember GIT cancer. It's very easy. Divide your GIT into upper GIT, lower GIT. Upper GIT means esophageal cancer, gastric cancer. Drug of choice is cisplatin. Lower GIT cancer means colorectal cancer. And anal cancer drug of choice is five fluorouracil, right? So that is how you can remember the GIT cancer. Now let's guys move on to the third disorder for today. That is anemia of uh, either chronic kidney disease or anemia caused by drugs like anti-cancer drugs or chemotherapy or anti-HIV drug like zidovudine. For all these causes of anemia, what is the drug of choice? Think, guys. Think. What is the drug of choice? It has been asked many times, guys. The drug of choice are erythropoietin analogs, right? But which one do we choose? Do we choose erythropoietin analog, epoietin alpha, or do we choose darbopoietin? Guys, remember, we choose darbopoietin over epoietin alpha. The reason being, darbopoietin is long-acting. Now, side effects of uh, erythropoietin analogs is very easy to understand and remember. See, guys, whenever I give erythropoietin analogs, obviously they will increase erythropoiesis, and for erythropoiesis we need iron. So there would be an iron deficiency. Second, you might overuse your bone marrow, the erythroid precursors, and there could be pure red cell aplasia can be seen. That is one point. Second. Side effects can also be seen because uh, of increased erythropoiesis, blood viscosity can increase, and a viscous blood can cause thrombosis. Plus, an increase in viscosity can also cause hypertension. So these are the side effects you can remember with uh, erythropoietin analogs. Coming to the fourth disorder for today, angioedema. Guys, remember, angioedema can be mediated either by mast cells or by bradykinin, right? If it is mast cell mediated, that is histamine mediated, it is because of allergy, right, to different substances or to drugs, or it can be bradykinin mediated, like in case of hereditary angioedema. So if it is allergy or mast cell mediated angioedema, then your drug of choice is epinephrine, right? To epinephrine, you can add on steroids or antihistaminics, but drug of choice is epinephrine. But if it is bradykinin mediated, for example, hereditary angioedema. Then what is the drug of choice, guys? Think. Then your drug of choice is C1 esterase inhibitor, right? Because hereditary angioedema is caused due to deficiency of C1 esterase inhibitor, so we give it from outside. Coming to the last disorder for today, guys, ankylosing spondylitis. Think, guys, what is the drug of choice for ankylosing spondylitis? Now the class that we use as drug of choice is a very commonly class used class in day-to-day -day life, right? For headache, for pain. Right for inflammation. So obviously, you would have got the class that I'm talking here about. That class is NSAIDs. So NSAIDs are the drug of choice for ankylosing spondylitis, 
and before moving on right from NSAIDs you, you should try at least two different classes of NSAIDs right so you can try either aspirin and ibuprofen different types of NSAIDs and if still the patient is not responding then you can move on to some more serious drugs of inflammation like the TNF alpha inhibitor called as infliximab so ankylosing spondylitis guys drug of choice are NSAIDs not responding move on to TNF alpha inhibitors like infliximab so guys these are the drugs of choice we had to discuss today and we have come to the last part of our farm cast where i usually talk about one of your concerns with your preparation today the topic that i've chosen is again commonly asked uh, by the students how to deal with controversies see guys medical science is rapidly evolving right it's rapidly it's, it's constantly changing every day every week every month plus you know the literature medical science literature it also keeps on changing and uh, different books if, if you take the same topic different books they would have different opinions because they are based upon different clinical trials or review studies so it's obvious that from faculties to faculties or books to books or guidebooks to guidebooks the answers might might change right so this creates controversy and many students uh, they are obsessed with these controversies and they somehow cannot get it out of their mind so i'll tell you a way to get it out of your mind and what you need to do here is first of all guys let me tell you uh, letting this uh, controversy off your chest off your conscious it would be more productive because remember controversial questions they will constitute only 0.1 or 0.01 percent of the questions that are asked 99.9 percent .9 questions are still the basic stuff which will get you the ranks so why do waste time on these controversies nevertheless still you need to find an answer to that controversy guys then what you can do is you can choose that particular topic belongs to which faculty more for example i'll give you my example like let us say let us talk about acute mania so in pharma, according to me, whatever textbooks I follow, the drug of choice uh, for acute mania is atypical antipsychotics. But psychiatry faculties, they say the drug of choice is lithium for acute mania. Now you have to choose between me and psychiatry faculty. Then I would advise you better go with the psychiatry faculty. The reason being, they are the one who deal with the cases of actual mania, right? and uh, so you have to make a choice so i would advise similarly for every topic every controversy you can choose choose one faculty one source and believe on that faculty go for that answer and then delete that controversy from the files of your brain that is the best way to go about it there is no uh, point in hanging on to those controversies guys so this was all i wanted to tell you guys in today's farmcast and take care guys bye bye this was dr ranjan with you